So today I am taking you to this special place of mine that I adore because we are gonna be talking about the things I love here in Ireland and this is gonna be one of those but it's gonna be through the whole video but I'm not telling you where I'm gonna show you so enjoy <laughs> nearly there and here we are I love this place and it's right in the middle of Cork so this is very very fascinating so it's called the Ballybrack Woods I hope I pronounced that right This is actually extraordinary in Ireland because I've seen more sun in the past week in Ireland than I've seen in the past year since I came here. I wanted to show you the other side of Ireland, the sunny one. Yes, there is one and it's pretty warm as you can see. I'm in my t-shirt, so, so for a kind of a person I am, that says a lot. So a few things I found really lovable about living in Ireland and how they made my life abroad easier. By the end of this video, tell me if I missed anything you find so lovable about Ireland. So first things first, the Irish people. Their behavior, their kindness and their acceptance. So this was the number one reason I didn't jump back on a plane the first week I was here. So even though we had uh, some misunderstandings because of a simple language barrier, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think my English is just fine, but it took me a few weeks to adjust to their English, to their accent and, uh, you know, it's different. And even with the miscommunication and, you know, me being young foreigner, lost at times, of course, the Irish were incredibly helpful and friendly towards me. They strike up conversations wherever I went. They included me into everything, even as a foreigner and sometimes they would go to such lengths that they would actually adjust their way of speech just so it's a bit easier for me. And I'm really curious, would that be a win just for me or would it be a win for you too? Or are there any individuals that prefer to be alone? Write that down in the comments. Second, and this is gonna sound very funny, especially after the first reason was people. But when I came here, I found myself in shock because of a little thing. You enter a store and there are no actual brands you recognize barely any and you have no actual idea of what's good and what's bad i mean i never actually thought about it but i was like why can't i find any salted yogurt or puddings without protein in it but then i found this divine thing you wouldn't believe me butter in ireland now don't get me wrong i do have butter in my own country as well yeah this butter it's just, it's just something different, you know. I've been to a few countries now, but never have I ever enjoyed butter so much. Yeah, that's how good it is. And yes, butter actually made my life more enjoyable and easier over here. And third, I personally found this hard to believe, but there are literally no snakes in Ireland. So you won't find a snake on the street or um, in a forest like this one or anywhere outside of this town, city. It doesn't matter, there are no snakes. Well, no native ones of course, but you can still find some in the zoo and you can have a pet snake if you want to. Now, it's not that I'm afraid of snakes or anything, but it makes my life a bit more enjoyable here knowing that there are no snakes. And so, according to the Irish legend, thanks to St. Patrick for that, because he banished all the snakes out of Ireland. Now just give me a second, I'm trying to find a place where I could uh, sit down for a bit and enjoy the nature.
so I'm all about nature but if I see a big bug and it attacks me uh, I am promising you that I'm gonna freak out I mean look at those what are those okay well we are settled down for a second so We've started off with Legends as much as I remember. While we're at Legends, so I wanted to say that I personally love history, mythology, legends, uh, folk stories. And Ireland has an extremely rich folklore with so many mythological creatures we've seen in movies, series. Ireland seems to be a place where it all started with the fairies and leprechauns. And besides the mythology, Ireland has a pretty unique and very magical history by itself. So one of the first things that people taught me here that Ireland is a small country but a very very mighty and proud one. And they have a lot of reasons to be so. Fifth, of course, the Irish nature. Can you believe how green this land is? How many natural beauties Ireland has? There are a lot of things over here that are pretty much unique to Ireland and I believe it should be on everybody's bucket list to visit. It's just so stunning and impressive. People all around the world are coming in here just to see some of the famous attractions Ireland has to offer. And trust me, it's not overhyped. People are right. This place is stunning. I'm sorry, I had to move, I saw a bug over there, so... Now this doesn't really fit into the scenery, but... There is one silver lining in the roughness of the Irish weather, and that would be rainbows! I have to say, I never saw so many rainbows in my life, as much as I saw only in the first couple of months since I moved to Ireland. And that is also kinda priceless to me. And yet another priceless fact is having all of you on my journey. So let me be your first friend in Ireland and click that subscribe button. Bye!